Okay, so sticky trap deployment. Uh, all we need for our sticky trap deployment is our sticky uh, trap or traps, uh, something to suspend them. So in this case, I'm just gonna show you guys with our, our old uh, default wire hoop, but whatever you guys are gonna use, uh, a stake or or, ro or a twine or whatever, it's all good. And then you're gonna need a Sharpie. Now, you don't wanna, ha do not use a light colored Sharpie, that's bad. Do not use a thin tipped Sharpie, that's bad. You want a dark Sharpie, dark color, and a big honking, as thick one as possible. Uh, for, for our recovery of this, you're also gonna need, not today, but you're gonna need, five days now, you're gonna need um, some uh, cling wrap, some saran wrap type of uh, plastic, um, but, but not for today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, I've decided I'm gonna, put my, I'm gonna put my trap, let's say, right here in my little planter box. And so I'm gonna come over here, grab my trap. Now how the, how the tangle foot is applied to these, uh, these traps in the factory is such that they, there usually is a bit of a um, uh, uh, gap on the, the half centimeter or so there. So I'm gonna come, that's where I'm gonna write my, my, my descriptor on there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name my site and or replicate and the date, the date is deployed. I'm only gonna do this on one side. And while I can write on the tangle foot, on the sticky part of the trap, um, uh, it, it, it isn't as neat. So the best thing to do is to write it right on this part of the trap that actually is um, a, a tangle foot free. So I'm gonna write Dr. A1 and uh, and then I'm gonna come over here and put the date on it. And this is really hard with one-handed filming with sticky substances. Um, and then I'm just gonna put today's date. Today's date is April 10th, 2020. So now I have this guy good to go. I have my date and I have my location. Okay, cool. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna decide where I'm putting this. So, okay, here's my spot right here, perfect. And uh, again, we're gonna put it uh, one to two fifths, one to two fists above whatever the surface is. If, this, if it's soil, that's fine. If we were coming over here to this rosemary bush, right? I would look at this rosemary bush and see where the, the overall average height is. Looking to be something like right about here. Let me step back so you can see this a bit more, right? So there's this big clump big clump of vegetation here. And I'm gonna pick, you know, the, the rough rough top of that. I'm gonna come over here, and so I would need a post or a pole about this high or to suspend the trap about this high. Before I suspend the trap, I'd come in with some clippers and I would clip off these, these tall things. Anything that could, if it was windy, flop and stick onto my trap. So I'm gonna clear a little bit of an area right here that, and, and again, to check that, I'm just gonna grab each of the potential branches I'm worried about, move it into the vicinity of where my trap will be and see if I have clear contact. If I don't, that's where I'm gonna snip. Okay, so in the case of our wire hoop guys, I just come up and uh, and take this guy and deploy it. And how this is going to work? This is going to be this is going to be the bottom of my trap, and so I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that about you know one to two fists above the ground. Okay, so there we go. So our trap is deployed and it's starting to collect um, critters. Now, last thing I wanted to show you, this is not for now, but this is for the um, when it comes time to retrieve the traps. Again, you can do this yourself, but it works best with two people. And again, my family's out making masks for the hospital, so I'm by myself here, don't have extra hands. But ideally, you'd have one person hold this, the other person come here and make sure this cling wrap material is nice and stretched taut like this, okay? Nice and stretched taut. And then take this over to the trap, still holding tight, wrap this on the bottom, and then swoop it over the other side and, and wrap it nice uh, and, and flat and non-crinkly over the trap. That's gonna give you your best results. Again, if I just took this and threw it on here, that would be okay, but it would, it'll save you a lot of time in the processing if you make it a nice, clean, uh, flat trap. So there you go, that's deployment of our insect sticky traps. Again, one to two fists above whatever the discontinuity soil surface or plant uh, uh, canopy that is your deployment site. All right, you guys, have a good time. Looking forward to seeing your data.